Welcome back to Drinks and Chill. My name is Jill. This is Matt. And today we are going to have another blind tasting. Yep. Yep. This time I'm in the blind. He's in the blind this I, time. I'm, I'm uh, blinded. Blinded by the light. Yeah. Something record, right? Something, something. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone knows what he says next. Let me turn around. Yeah, turn around. Oh, the Kinkleman is super smoky. Yeah. My na my neighbor gifted me one. Oh really? Yeah. Which one? The Kinkleman. He like gifted me, but like he already drank it. Does that make sense? Oh, like he gifted you like the rest of the bottle. Yeah. All right, you can turn around now. Look. So um. We want to pick it up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I was like. Ooh, water spots. Cheers. Ooh, that clink. I go bust out the Copitas for this one. Ooh. Mm. Okay, so there's some caramel in there. Oaky. And vanillas. Cherry. Raisins. Ooh, that's a good one. It's like sweet, but there's also like a bitterness in there too. Mm -hmm. I'm getting like raisins, but also like other fruit skins. Mm -hmm. Cause like that's like the bitterness from the, the skin itself. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Like lemon zest, like the the skin doesn't have the bitterness. It's the, the white part was mm -hmm. called a pift. Yeah. Or, or the pith or something. Pift, pith. I don't know. Yeah. That's pith. the, that's the bitterness of it. Yeah. I feel like I'm also getting like a red wine out of this. Ooh, like a dry wine? Yeah. I feel like there's actually a lot going on in here. I just can't pick it all out. It smells like rain. Cheers. Cheers. It has a dry taste. Mm hmm It's sharp on the front end. Like, like you get that alcohol first and then you get the flavor. And it's cool. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like it's been refrigerated, but it hasn't been. It's just been in here. Mm -hmm. It is bitter though. Kind of the same like quality characteristics of a dry red wine as mm -hmm. far as like how it like feels, but on the taste, I feel like you're right. You get like the fruit skins. The vanilla is still there. Reminds me of like a plum. It's almost like vinegary. A tad, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's completely opposite of plum, but yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, but it's kind of, that's kind of what I got on that sip. Well, I know, but I, I agree and I'm like, it's kind of like reminds me of plum, yeah. kind of vinegary, yeah. That was a little sweeter. I like that. Yeah. That one was a good one. That was a good mm -hmm. sip. All right, I'm gonna give it a taste. Finish. Okay, so what I was gonna say earlier, and I stopped myself, was that it kind of has the same feeling as a red wine on the finish. Mm. Like when you drink a, like a dry red wine and you, you drink it and then you kind of have like that sort of, like I guess dryness in your throat. Like that's what I get here. That one had a little bit of spiciness to it though. Mm -hmm. It did, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna say like black peppery, but like other type of like spicier spice. Like a paprika. Yeah. Or something, I don't know. A, a spice that's spicy. I actually like the finish on, on that one. Mm -hmm. Me too. So wow. do you have any thoughts as to what it might be? Um, I really don't know. Okay. I'm guessing it's a bourbon, possibly. Okay. Bourbon, possibly. Okay. okay. Um, so Maybe in the, the northern? So, it's a, so you think it's a northern bourbon? Northern bourbon. Okay, okay. That's, that's interesting. Um, we got the northern part right. 
Oh, it's a scotch. It's a scotch. Dang it. Yeah. So, you know, we've had a few whiskeys um, that are old enough to drink themselves. Okay. This one is actually the first one I think we've had that is older than us. Oh, older than us? Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. <laughs> I like how it took you a minute to like... <laughs> so, I put this one in here just so that the bag wouldn't seem so small. Okay. But it's not that. It is this. This is Glenlivet, 36 year. Oh my gosh. It's not even like Northern Scotland either. Is well, it? it kind of is. It's it's all those little blue dots up there. It's going to live. It's in there somewhere. Mm. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. 1981. This still 1981. I don't know if you want to add this into the Infinity Bomb. Maybe we should just save this part. Yeah, that's kind of what just, I'm thinking. Just just so that you have it. Yeah, like that little that little that that little bit there. I don't think it's going to go into the Infinity Bottle. Glen Livet 1981, 36 year, um, it says cast number 12. Uh, Space side single malt scotch whiskey, exclusive to the Whiskey Exchange. So I believe this was like a barrel pick that the Whiskey Exchange did. Okay. Um, it's 47.6% alcohol. Um, but Which was not expecting that either. Yeah. I'll be honest with you though, like when I first tried it, like my first thought and when I first smelled it, I was like, hmm. You know what? I could totally like see someone thinking this is a bourbon. Oh, thank you. Because <laughs> it, it had it had very bourbony qualities to it. Yeah. But I didn't want to say like, oh, you know what? This almost seems like a bourbon because then it would like give away that it wasn't a bourbon. Yeah. And I wonder if this was finished like in some sort of wine cask because I got like like big time like red wine vibes out of here. The reason why I said northern states is because it was very light and mm -hmm. it. Not because of the color here, but like just the taste, the flavor of it didn't seem very like a, a like a southern type of yeah flavor to it. So that's why I was like, oh, northern. Yeah, no, I could totally see that because it, it it was lighter than a bourbon. And that's where it sort of like stopped. Like, ooh, it has sort of the, the flavors and characteristics of it, but it doesn't quite have that heaviness that mm -hmm. you do with a bourbon. Yeah, I just thought, you know, it'd be fun to try a whiskey that's older than us. We, uh it's not often that you get to do that and you kind of have oh. to do that before you get too too old otherwise it gets pretty expensive well, I, I figured that one was would have been expensive too how much was that one it was like how much was this it was like 40 something dang yeah oh my gosh yeah <laughs> <laughs> well we, we already talked about going to like a, a bar and spending that much anyways on like a half ounce so yeah that's... i was gonna say like i feel like i've spent more than that like at a bar before on a single pour so i don't i don't feel too bad about spending like it was like 47 dollars on this but yeah that's um the glenn livet 1981 36 year cast i mean obviously 1981 was more than 36 years old but i think this was bottled 36 years from that date mm. so that's where they come up with 36 years so down in the comments let us know what is the oldest whiskey that you've tried oh yes we want to know mm -hmm. and then i don't know we'll, we'll see if we can one day maybe one day in the future uh we'll, we'll do uh, a spree of finding the rarest whiskeys yeah once this channel's made like millions of dollars <laughs> <laughs> Well, it doesn't have to be like millions of dollars. It can just be, you know. Yeah. Well, what we well, just because we find them doesn't mean we have to buy them. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just find them. Yeah. We're like, oh look, there it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that was fun. No, what did you say? I said five point two. I said five point six. Ooh. Uh, taste. Uh huh. Five point zero. Five point five. Okay. Finish. Two point three. I said two point three as well. All right. Maybe I was a little biased just knowing what it was, but I thought it was good. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I thought it was good too. Mm -hmm. And now looking at it, I'll probably go higher just for, for that reason. I think so. Like, I think just knowing what it is makes you want to rate it a little higher. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know whenever we post. And we will see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.